power. Power in the union. Power in the union. Power in the hands of the worker. We're in Union Square Park right now. The union, the union forever. Defending our rights. Union Square Park, 14th Street. Uh oh, coming, to, coming by a bunch of ruffians. Hope they don't attack me. They don't attack me. Oh. Oh, New York on display. A couple of medicine men. <laughs> a couple of medicine men in Union Square Park. But uh, Union Square, you say to yourself, it's for the unions, right? That's what it was, the unions? Actually, no. Union Square Park is... Got its name for the uh, two streets that Broadway and one other street. I think it was it was Fifth Avenue or Fourth Avenue come up, and that uh, spot was the reason why they called it the Union of Two Streets. But it took on um, greater meaning after that. In the 1930s, there were Union. It's always been a, a, a site. You've seen it in a million different uh, different protests. All the protesters, all the radicals, all the radicals come up here to protest and have their voices heard. Power in the union, right? Power in the union. Also, the uh, one of the one of the number one sites in this park that most people don't even know about is is George Washington, right? That's George Washington. You see George Washington up there? He's the first president of the United States. That right there, folks, is the oldest... That is the oldest sculptor, park sculptor in New York City. Right? It's the first one. It used to be on... Actually, it wasn't, it wasn't there uh, originally. It used to be on the corner over there. Down at the uh, traffic stop. The traffic, the, the junction between the two streets, traffic junction, and then later they moved it here. But you see George Washington's hand up, right? He took back the city. He took back the city. He's got his hand up, signaling to the troops. He's signaling to the troops that the British, he got to go, yo. Powerful. Powerful, powerful. What else is in this park? Besides the, besides the medicine men. Uh oh, kids playing. Young people playing hooky. Supposed to be in school. Ah, playing hooky. Playing hooky, hooky nooky. <laughs> Supposed to be in school. They're playing hooky nooky. Yeah, Union Square Park, man. It's the unions. I still believe in it. I still believe in it. Liba! I still believe in the union. I believe in the union. The union? What is a union? Look it up, man. The union is about the people. It's not about... It's not one guy in a room. It's not one guy in a room shaking a hand at the... Shaking hands with the guy across the table. He's supposed to be fighting for you. Fighting for the people. Okay? There's another monument that people don't even know is here. Gandhi. Ah, Mahatma Gandhi. Try to get a better shot. Mahatma Gandhi freed India. Ooh, freed India. Freed India. Never raised the never raised his hands. I'm on the wrong side of the wrong side of history right here. <laughs> I'm on the wrong side of the shot. But um, no, you can't really see him. So you see Gandhi over there? Oh, Gandhi. Pow. Mahatma Gandhi, father of India. Passive resistance. Remember that? Remember passive resistance? Father of India, passive resistance. Bang! Gandhi. Gandhi said, I don't know what Gandhi said exactly, <laughs> but he was a, pretty much a symbol of... A, Passive resistance. It's not about. It's not about how much you do. Sometimes you could just do nothing, and 
and everything changes, right? That's how they got rid of the British. The British were forced, forced labor. They came in, they took over, forcing, forcing people to do stuff. And Gandhi said, just don't do it. Stop. Stop what you are doing. Stop what you're doing. We will not. We are a free people. We will not succumb to British rule. And then India was free. Voice of one man. Father of India. Gandhi. Gandhi.